Hello guys, welcome to the part 4.2 of our Facebook ads made easy. My name is Kwame Chumisi. Today we're going to look at how to set up Facebook pixels on our platform. So let's say you have an e-commerce platform, an online business or like a dropshipping business it's really good to set up Facebook pixels so you can understand what your audience or the traffic you're sending on your website you can understand what they do on your website okay so you can recreate Facebook ads to target these people as to what they do on your website so today that's what I'm going to show you I promise this is going to be a quick one guys so please do not go anywhere and watch till the end okay without talking too much let me share my other screen so we get started with it as you all know, uh, you have to go to business.facebook.com, okay? Business.facebook.com. We have to do this in our Facebook manager's account. So I'm going to share my other screen, as you can see. Then I'll go to... Um, business.facebook.com. Okay, so this is my um, Facebook business suite or my Meta business suite, okay? So I'll just come here. The arrow here and i'll click on the settings button here okay so once you click on there go to more business settings as you see here yep and now go to data source okay so i'll click on the drop down arrow here now we'll select pixels Okay, so this shows that we don't have any pixels set up on VIP.cloys. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a pixels account. So we'll just go to the ad as you see here. Okay, so automatically Facebook um, is going to give you um, the pixels name. So VIP.cloys pixel, I think this name makes sense. So I'm going to leave it as this. Okay, now we have to enter our website URL. So I'll actually quickly. Um, Head on to the website now, vip.cloids. So this is our drop shipping website, guys. Yep, so I'll just copy the URL here. Come back here and enter it here. Okay, what I normally do is I don't add the HTTPS. Yep, so I just go vip.cloids.com. Yep, so if it looks good, then you just go continue okay so we have two options here we have to select the bottom one okay set up the pixel now click on that one all right so now we have to select the first one um if you don't have any um coding what do you call it coding um knowledge please go with the first one okay so add code using partner integration this is what you want to select so we'll select that one okay so this will bring you a lot of platforms so let's say if you're using shopify you're using wix using um, e with um, magento and the rest okay so facebook has got a lot of platform here you can select okay so with our case we are using wordpress okay so we'll select the wordpress as you see here now facebook will take us through instructions as to how to set up this on our wordpress website okay Yep, so this looks good. Now, Facebook, when you come to the number two, Facebook is saying we should um, install a plugin called Facebook for WordPress. So what I normally do, I'll just quickly copy this. Then we go next. All right, so I'm going to leave this here. And now we have to complete the setup or continue the setup on our WordPress website. So I'll quickly go on our WordPress website. Make sure you log into the back end of your WordPress website, okay? So this is vip.close.com. I'll quickly go to the dashboard, then I'll go to plugins. Yep, now we go to plugins, we go add new. Okay, now we have to search for Facebook for WordPress, okay? So I'll just copy what I pasted here okay so as you can see here Facebook for WordPress has got 500,000 plus active installations okay so this is what we have to install so I'll go install now then I'll activate yep installation is done now let's go activate done okay so now when you go to settings as you see here you should be able to see Facebook here. So you see, I've got Facebook down here. So I'll just click on it, Facebook. 
Okay, so now this is going to take us through like a um, step-by-step process as to how to um, install the Facebook Pixels account, okay? Yep, so I go get started. Yep, when I click on get started, you get this um, dialog box, okay? So a new window will pop up for you. Then it's going to know that, yep, um, it's going to um, automatically detect your Facebook account. So that's, this is my Facebook account. Um, it's called Prince K. Trimacy, okay? So I'll go continue as Prince K. Trimacy. Yep, everything here looks good. We'll just go continue. Okay, now we have to make sure we select the... Um, the um, business manager okay I've got several um, Facebook business accounts okay so I have to make sure I select the actual one here all right so I'll just go um, make sure I click on VIP dot close as you can see here yep so you can see I've got mentor candy Prince Cage so I've got a lot here so I'll just go VIP dot close make sure you select the actual one this only pops up if you have several business managers accounts okay so VIP dot close yep that's the one I, we want to set up the pixels on I go continue then Facebook business page yep we have to make sure I select VIP dot close I just select that one then we go continue Okay, Facebook ad account, as you can see, VIP.close has popped up here, okay? So you have to make sure you select your Facebook ads account. So VIP.close ad account, I'll select that one. Then we go continue. Now, so this is the Facebook pixels um, we are in the process of creating, okay? So yep, this was created on 21st, as you can see here. Yep, so we go, we select that one, then we go continue. All right, so automatic advanced match and yet make sure this is turned on. Um, we bring here email, make sure everything here is turned on. Yeah, because we need all this information from our customers, okay? We go hide. Um, make sure you double check that everything here is good. So VIP.close, VIP.close, VIP.close ad accounts and MetaPixel to VIP.close. Yep, everything here looks good. We go continue. Yeah, so you have to make sure this is yes, okay? And this is required, required, okay? Then we go next. Now it's linking WordPress to Facebook, okay? So we just leave it. Yay, okay, so done. So as you can see here, yep, we've been able to install, what do you call it? Our Facebook um, pixels on our VIP Docklays dropship store successfully okay so all you have to do here is go done yep so this is basically saying um if we we agree to share our token to facebook okay so i just come and click here this says i agree to share my token with this site okay then i go confirm voila so we are done guys okay so we've been able to connect our facebook pixels account to wordpress to our drop shipping store okay Okay, so now what we have to do here, we have to go back here and go next, click on next here. Okay, so it says not active yet. Okay, so we have to make sure this red button turns into green before you can continue. Okay, so what we have to do here is we have to enter our website here. This have to turn into green. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. So. I'll click here. Yep, I'll only enter vip.close.com. And now this is going to send a test traffic to vip.close.com, okay? When this turns to green, that means the connection is working. If not, then we have to make sure it turns to green before we continue. Awesome, so our, our website has opened, which means the connection is there. Now let's go back here active as you can see here so this has turned to green so this means everything is working properly if it doesn't turn to green straight away just give it some time okay and make sure it turns to green before you continue so we just go next okay so um with this um with this tutorial i just basically showed you the basic um like setup of facebook pixels okay so we'll not go into um, adding events and all that we'll do that later on okay so i'll just go next yep then we just click on finish Ta-da! so we've been able to create 
our Facebook Pixels account successfully, okay? So what I'll do here, I'll just go to Open Event Manager. Yay, so we've been able to create our Facebook Pixels account successfully. So as you can see here, VIP.cloise, we got our Pixels account here, okay? And we got our Pixels number here too. But as you can see, I say zero websites. This means we have to verify our domain, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do that in our next tutorial. Uh, my name is Kwame Chumese. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be there to help you out. So in the yep. part 4.3, we're going to um, learn how to verify our domain name, okay? This, this is a new update Facebook has brought, so we have to make sure we learn how to do that. We learn how to do that. Um, this is my contact details. If you need to contact me, please feel free to reach me on all the contact details here, okay? My name is Kwame Chumisi. See you in the part 4.3. Bye!